Good morning, Ephrata. My name is David, and today's... I'm, I'm Chris. Today's May 4th, National Star Wars Day. Please rise from when it stands and place their flag. <laughs> <laughs> Interested in taking college credit while still attending high school and saving money? Check out Dual Enrollment web, Dual Enrollment website located on the guidance page. Do you enjoy getting your hands dirty in the garden? Do you enjoy? Do you have a green thumb? Are you looking for a perfect Mother's Day gift? If you answer yes to any of these questions, stop by the EHS greenhouse this weekend for a spring plant sale. This Friday from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. This sat and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can purchase flowers, vegetables, and herbs that will make a great addition to any garden. Questions, please stop down and see Mrs. Stauffer at room 316. Yes sir, 11 Cloister FFA members competing in regional career development events against other FFA members from schools from Lancaster, Berks, Chester, Lebanon, Skokil, and uh, Philadelphia counties. They competed in the vet science, food science, and wildlife events. The results were the fo as following. In wildlife, freshman Gina Ellis placed 13th in the county and 32nd overall. Gina had a to identify a variety of mammals, birds, bird calls, and wildlife, wildlife foods, as well as analyze the habitat. In food science, team members had to identify food aromas, perform triangle tests, and identify food safety concerns. In third place in the county, and 15th of the overall, was Junior Shay M. Placed fourth in the county was sophomore Sophie S. Placed seventh was freshman Hannah M. Placed eighth was freshman Abby K and place ninth was freshman Maxie B. Finally in vet science, the team had to identify cat, dog, and livestock breeds, identify parasites and tools, perform dosage calculations, and perform restraint practicums. In seventh grade in the county and seventh twenty-first was sophomore Ashlyn Taylor, placing tenth in the county was freshman Jenna Lang, placing twelfth was freshman Haley Hoffman. Placing 16th was Junior Taylor Kowalski, and placing 18th was freshman Lizzie Hammond. If you see any of, of these ladies in the hallway, please congratulate them on a job well done. Many of them are planning to attend the FFA State Convention in June to see how their skills measure up to FFA members across the state. Attention freshmen, this is a reminder that the fundraiser form and money for the no sub sale are due in room 214 this week. Remember that the fundraiser is very important in your, in your class future years and that forms not returned result in an obligation. So get those forms and cash to 214 this week. From apples to apples to UNO, come join the Media Center for a game day on May 11th. Your brain needs a healthy break this time of the year. Unplug and challenge your friends to a match of mastermind or test your dexterity skills. But Jenga snacks will be provided. Sophomore class, t-shirt sale, class of 2019, t-shirt orders and money is due to your homeroom teacher Friday tomorrow. Don't be without your off official class t-shirt. Yes, May 5th tomorrow. Orders are due. Now, for lunch today, we have a meatball sandwich, chicken bacon Swiss, four cheese or buffalo chicken pizza, barbecue chicken rack, crispy chicken salad, fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin, sides are tossed salad, seasoned sweet potato fries, beef fried beans, fresh broccoli or cucumbers with dip, applesauce, fresh fruit or sashimi, no, or caro with sports. Oh. Century, doing something mean to it, do it better than anybody you ever seen. Do it, screams from the haters, got a nice ring to it. Sports results baseball won versus Conestoga Valley 3 to 4, and softball lost at Conestoga Valley 1 to 6. Boys tennis team members are strongly, highly, resoundingly encouraged to clean and turn in their uniforms by tomorrow in room 114. Today, girls lacrosse is home versus Mannheim Township, volleyball is home versus Mannheim Central, and boys lacrosse will take on Mannheim Township away. That's it for sports, now back to the main desk. Attention all students preparing to take the biology keystone exam this month. Bio boot camp starts next week. Sessions will be held Monday through Thursday after school in the cafeteria from 2.45 to 3.30. Students must stay until 3.15 to receive their bonus ticket. Please bring your laptop. Students taking AP exams, remember to check the AP test schedule posted in AP classrooms and in Schoology. 
Attention juniors, any student interested in running for a class officer position for the 2017-2018 school year should pick up a petition form from Mrs. Schubert at room 209. Petitions are due Monday, today, May 4th. Elections will be tomorrow on Friday, May 5th. Seniors, it's time to celebrate your future direct decision. You spend the majority of your senior year trying to decide what your futures hold and where you would like to go next year. And now we would like to like for you to tell us the entire EHS student body and staff EHS Decision Day 2017. It's set for Friday, May 5th. All seniors who have made the decision to further your education by attending college, technical, or trade schools, art or nursing schools, or have enlisted in any branch of the armed service, you are invited to participate in the Decision Day. You are encouraged to show your pride and support by wearing a shirt displaying the name and slash or logo of your future school or branch of the military on Friday, May 5th. Don't forget, as well, we will be getting a group picture of all those seniors wearing their college slash military gear. Also, seniors, be sure to email your counselor and send them a Schoology message or stop by the counselor and drop off a you drop your counselor off a note about where you plan on heading next year. Your picture will be posted on the bulletin board outside the counseling office for everyone to see. Check out this college example and don't delay. And now, time for today's trivia question. True or false, going to college is not worth the cost. Answer, false. College graduates start out earning 60% more and much more likely due to due to going through college. And through tough times and economic times, a college education is one of the best investments that students and families can make in terms of health, income, and outward mobility. That's it for today. Have a great day, Efforta.